Hey, what's going on there? Is it thing working? All right, here I go. Howdy, y'all. My name is Cletus McKelvin. I am a distant cousin of Mr. Botter. And when he has some trouble with extra hard math problems, I'll tell you what, he calls on me, Cletus, to help the class out. So, today, I'm going to be learning y'all something that's called integers. Now, you may be asking, what is integers? Well, I'll tell you what integers is. Integers is just a fancy pants city slicker word for numbers. So let's have a look at some integers. Now, during the course of today and for homework, Mr. Revolver is going to ask you to give the opposite of an integer. Well, I told y'all an integer is a number, so I'm going to take a number. Let's say I'm going to take me to number 8. Well, the opposite of number 8 would be, guess what? A negative 8. How about that? Well, shoot, let's do another one then. What if the number is negative to begin with? Let's say y'all got negative 13. Well, guess what, smarty pants? The opposite of a negative 13 is a regular old positive 13. Opposite of negative 13 is just regular old 13. All right, I know what y'all saying. That's easy, and guess what? It is easy. So let's look at something else now. What if you need to compare two different integers? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you two integers, and let's see which one is bigger. Now, let's say I got me the number 0 and the number negative 7. Well, now I know what you're saying. Why does Cletus got him that line up here? Because it's going to help me decide which one is bigger. Let's have a look. All right, I got me the zero right here. Everything to the right of the zero gets larger. Everything to the left of the zero gets smaller. So, I got me a zero, and I got me a negative seven that would be way in the heck over here. Now, I told you all before, everything over here is larger. Everything over yonder is smaller. So, zero here, negative seven down there. Well, guess what? Zero, believe it or not, is bigger than a negative seven. Let's do another one now. Let's say we got us the negative nine, and we's going to compare it to the regular integer 4. Now I know what y'all's thinking. you thinking, I know 9 is bigger than 4. But guess what? This is a negative 9. Like I told y'all four minutes ago, y'all wasn't listening. Negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers. So guess what? 4 is bigger than negative 9. Now, We's going to do one more thing today, and then I was going to be on the wild way, because I got me, shh, don't tell nobody, I got me a date with my cousin tonight. <laughs> now, let's do one more. What if you was asked to order some integers? Well, here they come. Let's say we got us a three. Let's say we got us a negative two. We got us a zero, and we got us a negative 5. That's negative 5. Now, if I want to put these in order from least to greatest, I've got to use my number line. So let's have a look. Well, I know that the one that's furthest down here is going to be the smallest one. So that's going to be my first son of a gun right there. So let me see. Ooh, I got the 3, negative 2, 0, negative 5. Oh, negative 5 is the smallest. So I'm going to put that one right here. I'm going to cross that sucker out. Well, coming up after that, looks like I got to me negative 2, then 0, and last but not least, my greatest number on this line is the number 3. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I order me some 
enters.